What's going on guys? Welcome back. Now, I want to have a conversation, just you and I, about the next big thing in camera technology. Now the autofocus on cameras is already very, very good. I mean Sony's is like pretty much top of the line, Canon, same sort of thing. Now I'm kind of getting up there too. Uh, Olympus, Panasonic, Panasonic now got phase detect. Um, so what I'm thinking is the next big thing I'd like to see in camera development is the internal memory. And I mean not having a removable card slot. I mean don't take that out completely but I mean like on some of the lower end cameras you could have like one card slot, one removable card slot and like 250 gigabyte internal memory in the camera itself and likes of um, some of the mid-level sort of cameras maybe go up to 500 gigabytes even the top models Sony A1, A7R Mark V those sorts of cameras maybe a terabyte of internal, internal memory and one or two card slots depending on yeah um, the reason being is that I think that camera technology is sort of almost stagnated in terms of leaps and bounds that they used to make in, uh, you know, going back like 10 years ago. Sensors, most of them are around about 20, 24 megapixels in size. Some of the like A, A9, no sorry, the A1 is like 50 megapixels, the A7R Mark V, uh, 61 megapixels, Canon with their R5, I think it's 45, Nikon with their Z6, uh, Z7, sorry, the Z7 is 45 megapixels, so on and so on. They haven't really made any, what I think is huge leaps and bounds in the sensor technology lately. I think the next big thing is like global shutter, but I would like to see like internal memory and that would help to speed up the workflow in the camera in terms of clearing the buffer really quick. I mean, I don't know whether, I don't know enough about the internals, the workings and internal workings of these cameras, whether if you had an internal memory of say 500 gigabytes that you would need a buffer, I'm not sure. What I'm trying to say is that with removable storage, there's always a bottleneck there where the buffer's trying to clear to the write to the card. The card can only write so fast. With internal memory, as like was with, with computers, with home computers, the internal memory is always super quick. Um, SSDs, the MVME storage, I think it is. Um, those types of memory storage in cameras could speed up the workflow, especially for likes of wildlife sports photographers who want lots of frames per second and they're going to be like, uh, like sports photographers are going to only need about 24 megapixels anyway so they could clear the buffer pretty quick right to their internal memory and in the downtime the, the the camera could actually write to one of the card slots the removable card slot as a backup um, instead of just writing it right there and then it could be like program to write to that card when there's nothing happening and the camera's turned on. I would like to see Sony implement this sort of thing in their cameras because I, their, Sony's tech, they've got, they're, they're such a giant in the technology industry that I'm sure that they could put um, memory, internal memory into these cameras at a pretty reasonable cost. I mean like, even if you had to pay an extra $500 for like half a terabyte of space inside the camera. If it speeds up your workflow and it's more reliable, faster writing, clears out of the camera into the computer a lot quicker, then it's a benefit. I mean, memory cards do fail and I'm sure internal memory probably does as well, but you don't hear of it as much. And I think being, um, sold it into the motherboard itself, 
I think it's it must be a lot quicker in terms of writing to, to that memory. And then you just plug in a USB-C cable to the computer and download all your images. But anyway, that's what I would like to see done in the near future with camera technology. What are your thoughts? Do you think that would be a good idea? Do you have any other ideas on what could be implemented in cameras in the near future? Post a comment down below and let's have a discussion about it and see what people think. See what people would like to see in camera technology coming up in the next few years. Not just slight little improvements, but I mean, something in terms of a big leap, a leap in, in technology. And I think internal memory could just differentiate likes of Sony, for instance, to uh, as opposed to some of the other, other brands who may be dragging the chain a little bit. I think Sony has the technology to do it, and I'd like to see Sony do it. But anyway, that's all I have for you today. Um, thank you all for watching, and bye for now.